And now, the general weather around Alaska. Welcome to Alaska Weather and Merry Christmas. I'm meteorologist Peter Chan coming to you from the National Weather Service on this Christmas Eve. 2023 and boy it's been a really active weather pattern i want to thank everyone that was patient and understanding with our internet outage that we had that really impacted the operations of the weather service across the entire alaska region yesterday on saturday we were able to get out a, a shorter uh, video to update all of the active and stormy weather impacting uh, the state for this uh, Christmas holiday weekend. So thank you again. We also received some uh, kind words, so we appreciate that. And if you'd like additional weather information on top of what I give you in these videos, you can go to weather.gov. That is the National Weather Service's online presence that brings you to a map of the continental U.S. Point click anywhere on this map and it'll pull up a local forecast with any relevant watches, warnings, or advisories. And let's quick check the lower 48 on this Christmas Eve. The big weather story is a strong area of low pressure is going to produce winter storm and blizzard conditions here across the central and northern plains from northern western Minnesota and especially down across South Dakota and Nebraska where blizzard warnings are in effect. Winds could gust as high as 45 to 60 miles an hour with as much as 8 to 18 inches of snowfall. So this is really going to hamper travel for Christmas in those areas and especially along I-80 and I-90. Here in Alaska, it's been a very active weather period. We've had one storm move inland across the Kenai late last night and weakening uh, to the north of uh, Prince William Sound at this hour. But we have one more uh, low to go here for the holidays. Uh, it's coming out of the North Pacific. We'll lift into the northern part of the uh, Gulf Coast here as we head into late Christmas Day and Tuesday. And we've had avalanches. Avalanche danger is very high. Avalanche warnings remain in effect for areas of the Eastern Kenai up around Prince William Sound to Thompson Pass. I'll highlight these areas because we've had some road closures on the Seward and Richardson highways. And in Anchorage, Anchorage has surpassed its entire normal winter season snowfall as of three o'clock this Christmas Eve day. I'll give you the stats on that. But it is looking like overall quieter weather pattern for a little while, uh, especially over the mainland here as we go through mid and late week. So here is an avalanche uh, update from uh, the Alaska Department of Transportation as of this uh, Sunday afternoon. The Seward Highway was closed earlier today because of an avalanche. It reopened, though, and th that avalanche occurred between mile markers 36 and 40 just before the, the Stir Sterling Highway turn turnout. The Richardson Highway, though, remains closed at Thompson Pass. Pretty significant avalanche there. No word yet if that's been reopened. But if you are traveling, especially through these areas, you want to frequently check uh, the Department of Transportation's website and things to see if there are any road closures as a result of inclement weather or avalanches. Now, season snowfall in Anchorage, this is remarkable. As of 3 o'clock this afternoon, that's when we take our, our official measurement. So far this winter season in Anchorage, 78 inches of snow has fallen. Compare that to the normal entire winter season based on a 30 year average is 79.9 inches. So we just beat that out by a tenth of an inch and some additional snowfall is certainly possible between now and uh, New Year's Day. So we might even be able to kick this thing up to 80 before the end of the year, which is uh, quite remarkable. Looking at uh, some FAA webcams early this afternoon, Point Hope still a bit on the breezy side, temperature at seven degrees. Anvik, there are still areas of light to occasionally moderate snow across portions of the western central interiors. Two below the temperature, though, early afternoon, some cold air residing there. Kodiak cleared out behind the storm. Northwest breezes, 16 degrees, but at least brilliant blue sky with some uh, low angle uh, Christmas Eve day sunshine. Heidelberg between storm systems, 45. Heidelberg had a peak wind gust of 85 miles an hour from the most recent storm. Metlakatla had a wind gust of 65 miles an hour. And some more strong winds are heading there, but no, not that high. They'll probably see some wind gusts up around or just over 50 miles an hour with the storm coming Christmas Day. So looking at what we have in the way, watches, warnings, advisories, 
We have avalanche warnings here for the Eastern Kenai and around Prince William Sound at Thompson Pass until 6 p.m. this Sunday evening. Those could be reissued. So if you're planning any backcountry tyke skiing or snowmobiling, be extremely careful because the avalanche threat is extremely high all across this region given the records amounts of snowfall we've seen here uh, in the early season. Here in the northern panhandle, there is a winter storm warning for heavy snow along the Haines and Klondike highways, especially the higher elevations. As much as 20 inches of snow could fall up toward the U.S. Customs checkpoint and Chilkoot and White Passes, and that will fall Christmas Day into early Tuesday. So be aware of that. Areas of the north, we still have a few advisories and things in effect, but those are going to be allowed to wind down. There's still some pockets of blowing snow and gusty winds. This area here through the western uh, central interior. There's still some pockets of light to occasionally moderate snow, but the areas here along uh, the northwest Arctic coast where these winter weather advisories are and along the northern western Seward Peninsula will be allowed to expire as of uh, this uh, mid-evening uh, Christmas Eve. So looking at the satellite imagery, there's, you saw that moisture coming in with the storm that we've just had. Now here comes the next one down here. Here's another low that's going to ride up into the Gulf Take a somewhat similar track, maybe a little more offshore from the panhandle. We got a, at least three lows out here in the lower bearing and North Pacific. Not especially strong any one of them, but at least in the meantime, there is going to be a break in the action over uh, the southwest mainland up into south central here as we go into Christmas Day. So as of this afternoon on Christmas Eve, this Sunday afternoon, we have remnants of the one low that came inland and moisture from earlier impulses that have lifted up into the northern parts of the state. And as we look out to the west, there's a collection of weaker, I wouldn't call them weak, weak lows, but there are a few lows out there. And the next one is down here in the North Pacific that's going to come north and then pull northwestward uh, as we go into late Christmas Day and on Tuesday. So late this Christmas Eve into early Christmas Day, here comes that next strong low, 964 millibar low, included frontal system pulling up into the panhandle, heavier snow breaking out starting uh, up there in the northern panhandle. Uh, gusty, strong winds. There could be uh, high gale force winds with some gust to, into lower storm force. So say 50, 60 mile an hour gust associated with that. Lingering weak low, weak low just north of Prince William Sound on Christmas Day in the afternoon. There is that low off of the Panhandle, Haida Gwaii coastline with an occluded front wrapping in and around it. Gusty winds rain though across much of the outer and lower panhandle, but the best chance of that heavy snow continuing will be up there in the far northern part of the panhandle. We have just kind of some troughs here lying out across the uh, Beaufort Sea down through eastern Russia and then into the central bearing. Another little low here. This one's going to be lifting northeastward. It's not going to have a lot of punch to it. Uh, the low out over the bearing gets a little better consolidated on Tuesday. And the low that lifted out of the Gulf that will come inland around Cordova, Thompson Pass area, that will weaken. And overall, there still may be some patchy light snow here across areas of the mainland, but uh, much of the, the southwest, south central is going to have some quieter weather Christmas Day and into Tuesday for a change. And some of that could linger actually to mid to late week in some areas. So looking at temperatures, uh, Lows before Christmas morning will stay generally above 40 in the southern and western uh, panhandle. Single digits, eight above uh, at Glen Allen. But the really cold air is on the other side of the Alaska Range, upper Kuskokwim Valley, 26 below at McGrath. And Monday afternoon, we're expecting temperatures at least mid-40s here, say Sitka down through uh, Craig, Klawak, and over toward Ketchikan, 45, 46 degrees. Uh, temperatures a bit cooler in the teens. Uh, Christmas Day uh, across the Anchorage Bowl, Western Kenai, but again, very cold on the other side of the Alaska Range, sub-zero temperatures. And for Tuesday morning, we expect lows above freezing across a good part of the panhandle because that system is going to bring in milder air up into the southeast. But colder with any clearing areas will drop below zero uh, and flirting with that in Anchorage and then come Tuesday afternoon. Temperatures still above freezing, mid-upper 30s to near 40, a few areas in the panhandle. But as we go out here uh, across oh, uh, the, the Copper River Basin down into the west side of the Kenai, temperatures are going to only be around 10, 12 above for highs.
So looking at the far north, there is a push of moisture and cloud cover, uh, some precip light precipitation, light snow and cloud cover that's working its way northward across these areas. It's going to keep the temperatures up from what they otherwise would be, where there's some clearing, though. Look, you're going to see temperatures 26 below at McGrath uh, Christmas Day morning, generally below zero all across the west, but the coldest air here in the middle Yukon and upper Kuskokwim area. And then Monday afternoon, high temperatures, coldest here again, uh, just to the northwest of the Alaska Range along areas of the Yukon, Kuskokwim, getting up to the Koyukuk uh, River uh, Basin. And then for Tuesday morning, look at that. Some areas flirting with 40 below there along the middle Yukon, perhaps uh, Huslia, Galena, Ruby, those areas will have some very cold temperatures with a weak area of high pressure allowing for the potential for clear skies and light winds there. And then temperatures, uh, Tuesday afternoon daytime highs, uh, mildest along the Elkan border and south of the Alaska Range, coldest air remains sitting here over the western interior. So looking at areas of the southwest, we're expecting to with the clearer skies as you go up the Kuskokwim River Basin, some of the coldest temperatures below 20 below uh, Christmas Day morning, below freezing along the Aleutian Chain and the Alaska Peninsula. High temperatures stay below zero on Christmas Day across the southwest interior, struggling to hit uh, the freezing mark at uh, uh, Dutch Harbor, and then temperatures again Tuesday morning, some very cold readings, uh, 20s and even some 30, uh, 30 below readings. Uh, McGrath could be 36 be or 37 below there. So some very cold readings across the southwest interior as you creep up the Yukon and the Kuskokwim Rivers. And high temperatures uh, Tuesday afternoon uh, should be back up around uh, or just above freezing as extend out along the Aleutians, but still zero or colder across uh, areas of the southwest interior. Now, temperatures going into the new year are going to average above normal across much of the state. We're in this El Nino pattern. It's not uncommon with the greatest likelihood of the southeast part of uh, the state to have overall through the entire winter above normal temperatures. But we are seeing, at least in this period, above normal temperatures likely across much of the mainland and looking at the potential for precipitation. Uh-oh, we got above normal precipitation along and southwest of the Alaska Range, including Anchorage around the Kenai Peninsula, surrounding uh, the Cook Inlet into Bristol Bay. So again, this could refocus an area for more active storms and precipitation. So you wanna stay tuned to later forecast as we finish out the back end of the holidays around and just after the new year.